Steel drumming started um, in the 1950s in the Caribbean, in Trinidad and Tobago, and came to our country, really didn't catch on until about the 1990s. And again, started at the collegiate level and professional level, and then it's kind of trickled down into high school and middle and elementary school settings. The steel drum band was started here four years ago um, in response to a need in the area. We're the, um, to have a steel drum band, we're the only steel drum band in Georgetown County functioning right now. Um, we have 30 members. We have 10 each of fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. And we have a mentoring program where the fifth and sixth graders help the fourth graders come up and show them how to use the instruments. I've been in the band since uh, two years ago because I got to the school in fourth grade and now I'm in sixth grade and I've been in ever since. I've had to mentor a little, a little buddy and that's been a lot of fun. Well, what I've noticed is that as the children become uh, become more deeply involved in the program and become more invested, they really have a sense of ownership. And it's really theirs to take and grow and develop um, in the best way they see fit. It, it's a, a completely a teamwork process. And that all comes from the children. Um, I actually started in fifth grade because I was an alternate. And it's been a lot of fun getting to interact with other musicians. Sometimes, like, I'll have, uh, during school, there'll be something tough and it's fun to come in here and just to bang it out on the pants. <laughs> um, I've learned how to work together better with other people. It's really fun. 